Hi there, welcome to the new data science case study which you can solve as per the tool of your choice whether R, Python or any other tool in which you work or you are learning. So here is a quick case study which uh, I have mostly I have uh, designed it and solved it in the Python and R but uh, like I said you are free to use it in a tool you want. So this is a casual mediation analysis. So this is a sort of scientific case study where researcher design and experiments and try to see the effect of uh, or try to estimate the casual effect of the treatment from the variable involved about uh, how the variable casually affecting and then trying to figure out a process in which they casually impact. So let's see the data which is related to this and then we will look at the experiments. All right, so here is the data which is bounds data and you can find the link of data in the uh, description where you from where you can uh, go ahead and download it. So what it has is first of all the serial number so no need to use this but the first variable is over here and this is the binary outcome variable under the parallel design right then second variable is the binary outcome variable under the parallel encouragement design all right so this is the design experiment which a researcher has created and this is a sample out of it so this is the variable definition the third variation is met the binary mediator under the parallel design so these variables which are nothing but the mediator variable impact the experiment casually and that's what they try to evaluate and assess the impact of these uh, mediator variables then you have the mediator uh, binary mediator variable under the parallel encouragement design and then you have this variable which is nothing but the binary treatment variable and then MANIP which is nothing but the design indicator or the variable indicating whether the mediator is manipulated under the parallel design and finally the trichotomous trichotomous uh, encouragement variable under the parallel encouragement design equals to zero if subject receive no encouragement one if encouraged for mediator value of one and minus one if encouraged for the mediator value of zero so this is a quick summary of the data set involved and what is their definition. Now let's go to the case study and see the relevant questions. All right, so bounce data is the data set that we are using. First question is that read the CSV and drop ignore the first column, which is the serial number like I just explained to you in the given file bouncedata.csv. Check the shape of the data set. It should have 1000 rows and seven columns. So you need to verify that you are using the right data set, which is the first condition of any analysis or starting with any analysis. Then convert the response variable MANIP, right? The manipulator variable, which I showed you to factor and show the levels. What does it indicate? Then summarize the entire data set with all the variables and its data types. Calculate the correlation matrix between the variables out, out.enc, nothing but encouragement, mat, mat.enc, ttt, and enc variable. So what is the calculation uh, correlation matrix or what is the correlation between them? The correlation matrix will going to help you understand that. Then comment on the observation made from the above matrix. Very, very important that you write in your own words what observations you can make it out from this uh, matrix. Then plot a basic scatter plot matrix for data set of the matrix created above. After that, draw a bar plot for out variable split by manip indicator with the count of observations and see what you can figure it out from this bar plot. After that, draw a bar plot for out.enc variable this time and again split by manip indicator with the count of observations. So 
you have created with out variable now now with out dot enc variable so what is the difference between these two if you could figure it out and write your observations about it so like this is what i've just asked in the next question that comment on the observation from the plot above in q7 and q8 very very important because if you will not be able to write your observations or analytical commentary about the chart then the rest of the analysis become very difficult then draw a bar plot for met variable again split by me manip indicator with the count of observations then draw a bar plot for med dot enc variable split by manip indicator with the count of observations Comment on the observation again for the plots above in the question number 10 and 11. Now if you see one of the thing that we are doing and this question I have not made it part of this case study but you see that uh, the, this variable is same, the bar plot is same but this first variable is different. So how you can automate this piece, right? Think about that because this is the next level of the case study which obviously I have not shown it over here. But this is something what you would really like to know or you would really like to do if you want to see an optimization in your code. Alright, so the next question is the split the data set to train and test between 70-30. So 30% 30 is the test data and 70% is the train data. Fit a logistic regression model on train data set for the variables against the response variable and you need to print uh, the predicting the test results. What is the accuracy of the model looking like? Print its value. So accuracy score is what you need. Print the confusion matrix of the model above. So confusion matrix is the one which helps you not only look at the accuracy score but couple of other metrics. So what you can figure it out from that, write about it. That's what I said in this question. Interpret what does the values in the above confusion metric matrix mean. Okay, next question is explain the cross validation, why it is used and what is its main goal. Very, very important topic if you want to get the better results and the better output from your model. Perform an ensemble model like SVC logistic of SVC logistic regression and random forest by applying a tenfold cross validation technique and print the accuracy recall and ROC AUC scores for each of them. What does model perform the best out of all three comment on the observations made? So this is something which you will be able to do uh, very easily in the Python or probably the tool of your choice. But there are some R specific questions which I would like to show it over here to you. And that's why I have made a category, just a bifurcation. So after the question 12, you have question number 13. So from question number 13, uh, after splitting the data set in the R programming, what you can do is similar to Python, that uh, logistic regression model on the train data set for the variable against the response variable. And you need to summarize the model. After that, perform an in-sample prediction. Just quick hint is that give a response variable split for the test variable test data set sorry the train data set create a variable that stores the above predicted value of the model and summarize it after that plot a histogram for the above created variable all right next question is plot the roc curve between the predicted variable created in question number 40 and the train data uh, response variable after that find the area under the cover to understand the predictive power so very very important that you should know about the area under the curve if you are not then i would highly recommend that solving these kind of problems you should be very well aware about the area under the curve so you really need to figure it out if you not already know but if you already know this then find the area under the curve under to understand the predictive power perform an out sample prediction and quick hint is that give a response variable split for the test data set run a random forest model on the train data set for all the variables against the response variable so we have already run the logistic now you need to run the random forest 
and uh, summarize the model and plot the model performance, plot the ROC and calculate the accuracy score which is AUROC scores. So this is all the questions which I have for you and as I said mainly this case study which I have kept in mind by keeping two tools Python and R which for which solutions are also present but you can do it most of it most of the questions in the other tools because most of the tools are flexible enough to take all these sort of uh, beginners questions because we are just scratching the surface with this case study so that's about it uh, I hope you will enjoy this and I'll meet you in the next case study with some new type of problem.